everybody. Welcome back to Freedom Malts. I'm Germ. First Impression Friday for this Two Soul Spirits, an independent bottler of the Watershed American Single Malt. Watershed's first American Single Malt that they made. Uh, it is aged for six years. It is at 57.4%. And portion of that six years the last portion, <laughs> finished in a fresh apple brandy barrel. Mash bill on this guy is 85% malted barley, 15% smoked barley. What's it smoked with? I actually don't know. Uh, I feel that if it was peated barley, they would have said 15% peated barley, um, or peat smoked barley, or something to that effect. But they do just say smoked, and I know that in American single malt, the smoking with different types of woods is gaining a little bit pop, uh, gaining a little bit of popularity. Um, it's a unique thing to us. Nobody else really does it, so I feel that it could be that way, and it could be peat. I'm not sure, but let's see if we can find out. Watershed out of Columbus, Ohio. They've been making bourbon that I know of. They probably make rye, but I don't know that for sure. Um, and now. They have made American single malts at least at least once. Uh, this is a single barrel, so maybe they just tried a one-off thing. Um, but Two Soul Spirits out of Florida, definitely a great independent bottler. They like to focus on smaller craft distilleries, kind of right up my alley. Um, they do a fantastic job picking things. Uh, I've had several from them, and they have all been fantastic whiskeys. So, just getting into this here. Good amount of apple right off the bat here on the nose. I like that, uh, I like that appley nose, it's nice. Not picking up on any smoke. Um, it is a pretty small percentage of smoke barley in the mash bill of this, so There's a little bit there. I kind of get a little bit. I don't think it's peat. And I could totally be wrong here. Definitely apple. Definitely caramel. Caramel apple. Now, is the apple coming from the malt or is the apple coming from the apple brandy barrel? Or both? We're going to let this air out just a little bit. We're going to do a little cut here and let it air out and see if it changes within the next 15 minutes or so. So I'll see you right back here in 15 minutes. All right, how we doing here? We open up a little bit. Let's check it out. Okay, so definitely still getting some apple. Major apple here. Apple and caramel, definite front runners on the nose. There's a, there's a back note of like a smoldering log, not necessarily a campfire, but like um, after the fire is pretty much gone and you just got that charred wood, smoldering log, it's kind of that smell. There is a bit of bit of a weird almost like a sour smell to it it's kind of an odd odd note not off-putting but hard to describe but let's get into the taste see how she goes Mm -hmm. That is caramel apple for days. Um, there was these suckers, a uh, green sucker covered with caramel in you know odd spots, and uh, I can't remember what the name of them was, but very similar taste from what I remember.
getting beyond that caramel to apple <clears throat> is actually kind of difficult. Um, it's it's a very that's a very strong flavor. Not only is it a strong flavor in general, but it's very very present here. Like the majority of what I'm tasting is that caramel to apple. As I'm talking here and that finish is kind of lingering on, it's, I'm not getting any smoke. I don't get any of the smoke out of it, but it's got this sour sweetness that's just kind of like all over on my tongue. And it's very, very unique. Like, um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's that sucker. It, it definitely is that green, green sucker with the caramel on it. That's what it is. Fresh apple juice, I mean, uh, just any types of apple things that you can think of, that, <laughs> that's there. That's what, I, that's what I'm getting. And then, it, you know, and then that caramel on top of it, it it's, it's very nice. Uh, very sweet, very, very nice nose. Uh, nice palate, nice finish. A little flat in the middle. Um, it hits you right away. And then the finish is very nice, but that middle, middle section of time, is not a lot there. I think I did forget to mention um, the initial maturation was just over five years in a heavy, new heavy charred barrel and then transferred for like eight months into that fresh apple brandy barrel. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's it's that green caramel apple sucker, very sweet, little sour, right up front initially, as soon as it hits your tongue, that's what you get. Flattens out to almost nothing in the middle, and then that finish lingers on with that soury apple kind of coming around. Little bit of charred wood, not much for um, oak tannin or barrel bite, which is kind of neat. I would expect a little bit more out of this because of the heavy char barrel for five five plus years. Let's add a little water to it. See what happens here. Alcohol came out a little bit strong there. Let's back off a little bit. Didn't change a lot. That weird sourness that I'm having a hard time describing came up a little bit more, but still pretty much caramel apple. Maybe a maybe a slight hint of chocolate. Okay, so the water helped on that mid palate. It carried some of those flavors initially. Still the same flavors. Still sweet caramel apple, sugar sweet caramel apple but it carried through now and it definitely was there after the initial blast and, and then into the finish. Um, Two Soul Spirits, check them out. Fantastic independent bottler, focusing on craft distilling, uh, focusing on picking some fantastic barrels out of these craft distillers. Um, they're fairly new. They, they have, you know, a uh, smaller amount of releases at this time. This is their first American single malt release, which I was excited to see. Uh, they've had a good number of ryes and uh, I think a couple bourbons as well. Three bourbons and maybe three or four ryes and now this American single malt. Uh, I've, I have not had the chance to purchase everything from them or try everything from them, but the three or four that I have knocked it out of the park they did a fantastic job um, watershed distilling out of columbus ohio if this is what they're making for american single malt i'm on board man um let's see what it is like in a used barrel i'd like to see that but that's a personal preference make what you're going to make you're doing a good job and uh 
I'm looking forward to seeing some other stuff come out of both Two Soul Spirits and Watershed. All right. Thanks, guys. Cheers to this American spirit. Man, it's an apple bomb.